When the Wall Street crash happened in 1929, it took 15 years for the world to come together to rebuild and renew our economies. This time, I think people will agree that it is different. We will not hesitate as long as people are losing their jobs and their homes to make the difference that we can by improving their prosperity. Today's decisions, of course, will not immediately solve the crisis, but we have begun the process by which it will be solved. A few years ago, meetings such as this could not have happened with so many different countries from diverse uh, continents involved. Far less could there have been an agreement amongst them. But today, the largest countries of the world have agreed a global plan for recovery and reform. This involves the biggest interest rate cuts in history, the biggest fiscal stimulus we have ever seen, the biggest increase in resources in the history of our international institutions, with 250 billions, more money than ever before for trade finance as well. For the first time, we have a common approach around the world to cleaning up banks' balance sheets and restoring lending. We are engaging in a deep process of reform and restructuring of our international financial system for now and for the future. And we have maintained our commitment to help the world's poorest. And we have put more money aside for that and also for a green recovery. These are not just a single collection of actions. This is collective action, people working together at their best. I think a new world order is emerging and with it the foundations of a new and progressive era of international cooperation. We have resolved that from today we will together manage the process of globalization to secure responsibility from all and fairness to all. And we've agreed that in doing so, we will build a more sustainable and more open and a fairer global society.